when when you sit with leaders, right? When 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 you sit on boards, because I also know that you sit on boards. What would you say would be the the biggest challenges that leaders face when it comes to innovation and digital innovation? Number one, they struggle with prioritizing innovation because when I'm when I'm sitting in boards, when I'm interacting with top leaders, there's always these day to day challenges, these these fires that they need to extinguish that take up a lot of their brain capacity. And that's where I tell these leaders that their job is to kind of be that pilot when something goes wrong. What the pilot does is it assigns tasks to everybody else and the co-pilot takes on. And the pilot itself sits back and thinks, what's, what's the next thing I need to be thinking about? Did I miss something? Did I make the right decision? And I feel like as a CEO of a company, as leaders, you need to create that space where you're thinking about the future. And not only just extinguishing fire and doing the day to day operations, which is obviously really essential too, but it's creating that space within your head, but also within the organization where innovation can take place. And, and the second thing I would say is they really struggle being able to take risks, um, mm. especially if you are an established company you haven't really exposed yourself to that much risk in the past, maybe, maybe you know, two or three decades, your, your um, products and services have well, well, worked really well. But now we're in a new era. It's called the disruptive era. Tech has changed everything. Digitalization has changed everything for us. So we cannot operate in the same manner. And we'll have to go out there and take some more risks and be tolerant towards that. And taking risks means that you accept failure that you're okay with failure. Wow, that's so good. And I'm glad that you said taking risks because when I work with leaders, and I'm not focusing on innovation, but but they sometimes when we talk about values, they say we want to be an innovative company. You know, innovation is important for us. And then the next question I ask them, you know, okay, so how do you deal with failure? Do you encourage failure or do you punish failure? Because you cannot be innovative if you don't encourage failure. One of my... One of my mentors actually had the failure meeting. So he forced his team to come to the meeting with something new that they tried this week and didn't work. And he said, you better come to the failure meeting with something that you tried and failed at. And that's, you know, absolutely driving innovation. Exactly. I love that. I love that. I mean, we should be allowed to make mistakes. We're going to make them anyway, even if we're not allowed. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But you know, it's like not holding your team accountable for what, every time they fail. If a person gets fired or they get demoted, then you're not sending the right message. Yeah. As a leader, you have to show your team that you have their back, that you trust them, and that they can make mistakes. And it's okay. There's there's a room for us to play play with here.